Welcome back to Tracy's Cooking, guys. Today I'm going to make Jamaica number one recipe that is ackee and salt fish, my favorite. Come over to my kitchen, guys. Let's go cooking. First, I'm going to wash the salt fish and allow it to soak for about three hours. Then I'm going to change that water and add fresh water and allow it to boil for about 15 minutes then i'm going to add it some cold water to cool it down so i can clean it up and break it in small pieces so after Picking out all the bones and break it into small pieces. This is what it looked like. So the salt fish is ready. I'm going to set it aside. And this is the vegetable I prepared to use. Here I have scallion. I have some minced garlic. Onions. Red and yellow bell pepper and a little thyme. So I am going to use a canned ackee. If you have access to the fresh ackee, go ahead. So here I have my frying pan nicely hot. I am going to fry my salt fish. I want to fry my salt fish to have that light crunch. It gives a better flavor. So I'm going to allow it to fry until it has this nice golden color, not too dark. I totally forgot about the garlic. So the first thing you want to do, you want to put your garlic in the oil to sati for about a minute to release that lovely garlic flavor. Then you are going to add the salt fish. But here I still get to do it well. So I make that little space in the middle of the pot. Add some oil. Then I add the garlic so that nice flavor is releasing. Once it's sauteed nicely, I am going to just go ahead and stir everything together. So after the salt fish is fried nicely, I'm going to add my onion and scallion. Give it a stir. Allow it to sauté for the next few minutes. At this time, I am adding the thyme. So instead of just putting the thyme with the sticks, I'm breaking off the leaves. And around this time, I am going to add the bell peppers also. So now we have our salt fish fry nicely. You see that nice golden color, that nice crunchy look. It is so flavorful when you're making your salt fish and do it like this. So around this time, after you strain the water off your can, Aki, you are going to add it. And right away, I go ahead and add some black pepper. So this is my second time adding black pepper. I added first when I was frying the salt fish just to boost up that salt fish flavor. And here I added the second time. So now I am carefully to mix the 
ackee and sawfish together because I don't want the ackee to break up too much. If you don't mind having your ackee break up, just go ahead and mix it the way you like. So I am doing this to combine the flavor of the ackee and sawfish. You want to make sure all the flavors are combined nicely. So this is the final result of my ackee and sawfish. I am going to garnish it with a little bit of finely chopped scallion. And here we have a tasty, delicious, beautiful looking ackee and sawfish. What I love about ackee and sawfish is that you can have it with almost anything. I love ackee and sawfish with white rice, rice and peas. I love ackee and sawfish with bami, with dumpling, white dumpling or cornmeal dumpling. What is your favorite way of enjoying ackee and sawfish? Today I was feeling for a dumpling. So I go ahead and make some dumpling to eat with this ackee and sawfish. And there I serve it up with some callaloo. This went down so good. I really enjoy this recipe. Guys, go ahead, try this recipe. Drop a comment below and let me know how did yours came out. Thanks for watching, guys. A big shout out to all my subscribers and faithful viewers. Thank you so much for your love and support.